Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I'm shooting this video right here with the LX10. For those of you that don't remember what the LX10 is, it's the Panasonic Lumix LX10. It's a little pocket camera. It is a one inch sensor type camera. It has a flippy uppy screen so I can see what I'm doing right now while I am holding it at arm's length and filming this for you guys. And it does have a very, very nice f1.4 lens at the wide end. So it's got a fast lens, very good quality one inch sensor and a flip up screen. It's a great little pocket all in one video camera. And that's actually what I'm wanting to do today. Uh, I just am testing the face detection. I can see that the box has my face outlined in it and I registered my face with the camera. You do that, you gotta take a picture of your face and if you want you can put your name and whatever there or the person's name and then the camera will track you better. So I wanna see, I'm testing it. Uh, it's fairly dim outside today. I'm standing, this is window light here from the front window. I'm almost facing the window. You can see it's fairly dim in the background behind me here and I just wanna see how the camera does at tracking I'm not expecting quite the level of, say, Canon's dual pixel AF, but I'm hopeful that it will be usable or more than usable for this style of doing videos. I'm a little farther away from the camera now. We still have the face detection on. It is an AFC autofocus continuous mode. I'm actually holding it with my other arm, with my right arm, because my left was getting a little sore. Even with these small cameras, if you're holding your arm out for a while, it does get tiring. Vlogging is something, I guess, the more you do it, the more you build up that muscle. But, uh, I mean, even try holding just your arm out for a while, and you're gonna find just holding your arm out, there is a limit to how long you can hold it there. We're in a darker section of the house now, more in the middle of the long room that is my living room and it has a small aquarium room, we can get into that in another video, and then ends up in over there, the dining room with the outside window there. And I'm just curious to see, the box is around my face right now, I'm just curious to see when I go back and look at this how quickly the face detection is picking up my face and how accurate it is. I'm also curious to see how the audio is, this would be great if this camera can work for me as a main quick, you know, running gun vlog style video camera without having to set up the shotgun and the external mics and all the extra work. Because you know what, quite frankly, the content is the king and if you can produce faster and easier, then it's just less of a mental hurdle to get to work and make more videos and more content for you guys. Now you might have noticed when I first started this video, I had my hat turned around. I had my hat like this. And I tend to often wear my hat like this, but I did then turn my hat around because I do tend to wear it also like this, which is backwards, and I do get flack from some people. You'd be amazed how many people it upsets that I turn my hat around in certain videos. Anyways, I was curious how the face detection would handle it when I had originally registered my face without a hat at all, and then I had the hat on forwards, and then I have it on backwards, and now what I've done is I've actually registered my face again, because you can have multiple faces registered with the hat on backwards like this. So I'm curious to see if it makes the face detection better, and I guess we'll see how that works. This is actually my front hallway and it's even dimmer than the previous two locations because the window is way over there and the other window over that way is actually blocked by my fireplace so that you can see the edge of the brickwork there with my minion. So here I am and I just flipped the camera right back onto me and it seemed to acquire my face pretty quickly. I'm curious to watch in post to see how accurate this was as far as how quickly and smoothly it can maintain focus on my face. This should be even more interesting. We are in a very dimly lit hallway. I just switched a light on when it was dimly lit. It wasn't actually being able to focus on my face. But I'm curious now that I have the camera uh, with the light on up there, uh, how it's doing. It looks, from what I'm seeing here, focusing on my face pretty good and maintaining continuous focus, which is what I want to test here. This isn't really a test of me, but it is a test of the autofocus system. We've got my daughter's guinea pig, Maple, here, and we're focusing in on her through the bars of her cage. And you can see, there's the cage there. Let's see how quickly the camera can acquire some focus. We'll go down to here. I think we've got some focus acquired there. Come back in on the pig.
And there we've got Maple again. I think she's in focus. It's hard for me to tell, but uh, I just thought this would be kind of an interesting test to see how it does. Because we do have the bars here in the cage, and then we've got her behind the bars and see how she does. This is my other daughter's guinea pig. This is Lucky. We had a guinea pig named Moo. I don't know if you remember that, but we lost her. I'm going to try zooming in here and see if we could see Lucky inside her little enclosure habitat there. You could see just in the background there. Oh, I think she's poking her face out. That's not doing too bad. It's getting the, the guinea pig in focus, um, and even though it's very dim in there, and keeping the bars out of focus. So that's kind of impressing, impressive on the autofocus tracking. All right, Lucky, we'll leave you alone. Lucky's uh, fairly young. I think she's only around maybe 14 weeks now. We got her in the summer when we had an inadvertent death in the family among the guinea pigs. And so this is my younger daughter's uh, new guinea pig, Lucky. Uh, even though she's grown quite a lot, she's still getting used to people, so she often goes and hides in her habitat. In the kitchen now, the lighting isn't too bad. I got the kitchen light right above me right there, and it's lighting me pretty good. Plus, I do have a little bit of window light over there uh, coming in as well. So this isn't really dim lighting, uh, but again, just testing the face tracking, the face detection using AFC, autofocus continuous mode, on the little Panasonic LX10. I do have to tell you, I really do like this LX10. I hope it's going to work out nicely as a vlogging style camera for this style of videos. Uh, we just had the heating unit come on in the background so you can hear the forced air uh, coming out of the vents in the house right now because it's chilly out today here. We're like around zero degrees Celsius. Uh, but I wanted to see how the focusing is working here. I wanted to see how I felt about holding the camera regularly uh, like this vlogging style. And I wanted to see mostly, I guess, uh, not only just the uh, face, the detection and the autofocus continuous mode. I want to see how the audio is. What do you guys think about the audio? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, do you think this is decent quality? Would you ha be happy to see more videos done in this manner with more different backgrounds, more interesting stuff thrown in? Um, if you're interested in the LX10, if you're not aware of it or want to check it out, price and reviews and whatnot, I'll put a link below. You can check it out on uh, Amazon as well as on B&H. Uh, both of those links will be in the description below. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Let me know in the comments what you think and uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.